Hey, Anna. Good morning. The blood shortage is something really serious, especially now that we have medical emergencies everywhere and that people are also having other medical emergencies that require blood infusions or some treatments that require them too. And there is a shortage. Versity is, is willing to come to you to get your blood. Emily, yeah. good morning. Good morning. What's behind us? This is our blood mobile coach. So <laughs> we bring it out and we collect blood right on it. So tell me about where we are today and how this all worked. Yes, we are at Rise Studios mm -hmm. in Glen Ellen. And one of our local community members, Lindsay, uh, donated blood and thought it was easy and thought it was something that made her feel good. So she said, how can I do more? She checked a little box that we have on our website and said, I can find local locations to come out and donate blood. And here we are today. So it doesn't cost you any money to put these together. What are the requirements? Yep, so our requirements are we do two things. We are having blood drives inside. A lot of times we're, we're always able to social distance and set up more beds than we'd be able to on the coach. Our second option is the mobile coach that we have behind us. Um, anytime we have a blood drive set up, what we need is to be able to have access to restrooms mm -hmm. and then uh, running water. And so it's really easy. We um, shoot for goals around 20 and above people to come out anytime we set up the coach. And we plan about four to eight weeks in advance to make sure that there's plenty of time to get the word out, let your friends and family know how important it is to come this out and donate. This starts at two o'clock in the afternoon and you will be safely inside that bus I know there are requirements to donate now that COVID is around, and what are those? Yes, so we do ask all of the condition symptoms. So we're looking if you have had any symptoms, and we ask that you wait until you're no longer you're symptom free to donate. Uh, we ask for 14 days after a negative test or 28 days after a positive COVID test. Um, but before that, if you don't have any symptoms, we have everyone wear their masks. So throughout the entire process until you're in canteen, we have you wear your mask for safety. Our staff is all masked up as well. Um, we also keep social distancing. So lucky for us, yeah. that was already part of our process right. because of HIPAA. Right. Um, so we keep every station is separate. It's an individual process, but we come together every five to 15 minutes. We have appointments and that way we can space the donors out safely. Where can people get more information to donate and to host? Yes, at versity.org. So that's V-E-R. S-I-T-I dot org and you can sign up to host a blood drive there or find out more about the um, different kinds of donations we're doing. We're going to talk to that mom that went from donating blood to now having five blood drives scheduled in her area around town this morning from Glen Ellen.